Then welcome back to our channel. At approximately 10.15 a.m. local time, in the eastern region of Ukraine, Ukrainian infantry units were advancing across an open terrain. This area had only recently been cleared of landmines. The soldiers moved in a spread formation, maintaining a moderate distance between one another. Their pace was steady, their focus absolute. In open ground like this without natural cover, the greatest threat was not necessarily enemy fire from the front. The real danger came from above. In modern warfare, the eyes in the sky, surveillance drones, can bring destruction without warning. Once an enemy drone locates a target, it only takes a few minutes for coordinates to be relayed and artillery shells to rain down. For Ukrainian troops, this meant that even a brief appearance on the thermal camera of a reconnaissance drone could result in a deadly barrage. And that's exactly what nearly happened. At around 10.19 a.m., operators in a Ukrainian mobile air defense unit detected an unfamiliar signal entering their monitoring zone. It was approaching from the northeast, flying at a relatively low altitude. Using compact electronic warfare equipment deployed in the field, the team triangulated the signal and confirmed it was consistent with the telemetry of a Russian Orlan-10 drone. Within two minutes, the object became visible on their monitor screens. The Orlan-10 was performing a slow, deliberate loop above the Ukrainian infantry column, maintaining an altitude of around 1,500 meters. It was scanning the terrain below. The drone wasn't just watching, it was calculating, gathering visual and thermal imagery, likely transmitting live footage to a command post far beyond the horizon. The Orlan-10 is a workhorse of Russian reconnaissance operations. It is small, relatively cheap by military standards and unarmed, but its impact can be devastating. Fitted with high-resolution optical and infrared cameras, it's capable of locking onto vehicles and troop formations even through smoke or foliage. Once targets are confirmed, it can direct artillery fire with frightening precision. But this time, Ukraine was prepared. At 10.23 a.m., a counter-drone team, embedded nearby, activated their own asset. An FPV drone, first-person view, based on a modified quadcopter platform. It was launched from cover, behind thick vegetation on the western slope of a low hill. The operator, a member of the Ukrainian 57th Drone Battalion, had been monitoring the same skies and had already received warning of the Orlan 10's presence. Unlike traditional surveillance drones, FPV drones are built for speed and agility. This particular unit had been modified with extended range video transmission and a small explosive charge embedded at its nose. Its purpose was singular, to eliminate airborne threats through direct collision. The soldier controlling it worked with focused urgency. In a live combat zone, seconds matter. If the Orlan 10 managed to complete its sweep and transmit targeting data, Ukrainian infantry on the ground could suffer serious losses. Flying at low altitude, the FPV drone advanced toward the Russian surveillance aircraft. Unlike the Orlan 10, which relied on preset navigation patterns and GPS stabilization, the FPV drone was fully manual, flown entirely through the operator's real-time video feed. The interface resembled a virtual reality view, but there was nothing virtual about the consequences. Every decision, every adjustment in flight path, had to be instantaneous. By 10.26 a.m., the Ukrainian FPV drone had reached visual proximity. It approached from below, using the angle of the sun to mask its signature. Due to the significant difference in altitude, the operator carefully adjusted the drone's climb, maintaining a stable trajectory despite radio interference and crosswinds. Any delay in transmission could cause the drone to veer off course, miss the target, or lose power altogether. But none of that happened. At 10.27 a.m., the drone closed the final distance. From a range of 20 meters, the FPV unit accelerated and dove directly into the underbelly of the Orlan 10. The resulting detonation was small, but precisely targeted. Footage from the drone's onboard camera, now widely circulated across online platforms, shows the blast ripping into the wing structure and tail assembly of the Russian aircraft. The effect was immediate. The Orlan 10 began to spiral. Its wing, fractured by the explosion, folded inward. With its stabilization system destroyed, the drone pitched forward uncontrollably. Within seconds, it was plummeting toward a patch of open field, nearly two kilometers from where the Ukrainian infantry had first been spotted. It struck the ground and exploded, its data, visuals, and coordinates lost. But the lives it was trying to end? Saved. The FPV drone that brought down the Orlan 10 cost between $1,000 and $1,500 to assemble. By comparison, the Orlan 10's price tag is estimated between $80,000 and $100,000 per unit. This was more than just a tactical victory. It was a textbook demonstration of asymmetric warfare, 
where low-cost, high-impact tools are used to neutralize more advanced and expensive technologies. Just minutes after the intercept, at around 10.31 a.m., two more Ukrainian reconnaissance drones, Lalika 100 and Fury UAV, were deployed to scan the surrounding airspace. Their mission was to confirm that the downed Orlan 10 had no companion or replacement en route. After several loops and no further signals detected, the sky was declared secure. No follow-up drones, no backup surveillance. The Ukrainian ground units could safely resume their movement. By 10.42 a.m., the infantry unit had repositioned to a new rally point. The commander on site personally commended the drone operator responsible for the interception. A copy of the footage recorded directly from the FPV drone's feed was sent to Kyiv to be archived and used in future training sessions for other drone units. The event may have lasted less than 15 minutes, but its implications stretched far beyond that. This engagement highlighted a significant shift in battlefield dynamics. In earlier eras, controlling the sky meant deploying aircraft, jet fighters attack helicopters or bombers. Today, the contest has moved down to lower altitudes, to the realm of unmanned aerial systems. In this space, speed, adaptability, and creativity matter more than size or price. Ukraine's drone operators, often working with equipment sourced from civilian markets and modified in local workshops, have consistently proven their effectiveness. By using off-the-shelf components and combining them with battlefield ingenuity, they've created a counter-drone doctrine that is now being studied internationally. And the lessons from this specific incident are clear. A single drone, operated with skill and timing, can thwart an entire chain of operations. It can protect ground forces, deny the enemy crucial intelligence, and tilt the balance of control, at least temporarily, in favor of the defender. Moreover, it reinforces the importance of rapid response, real-time intelligence sharing, and decentralization in drone warfare. The Russian Orlan 10, while effective, has one major vulnerability. It's not built to defend itself. Once detected and targeted, it relies solely on its altitude and distance to stay safe. But against FPV drones launched from the ground, those advantages are shrinking. Every tree line, every hill, every trench may now conceal an operator ready to strike. As of today, Ukraine has integrated drone strike units into nearly all frontline formations. While the hardware varies, the strategy remains consistent. Identify, respond, neutralize. Whether it's disrupting a surveillance operation, targeting enemy supply convoys, or defending against kamikaze drones, the drone battlefield has become a defining feature of this war. And in this encounter, it wasn't just a drone that fell. It was a chain of consequences that never came to pass. No artillery strike. No casualties. No surprise ambush. Just silence. And survival. And that is the full story of what happened within a span of less than 15 minutes, but was enough to protect an entire Ukrainian company from potential devastation. If you want to stay informed about the evolution of drone warfare, battlefield innovations, and how small tools are changing the course of large conflicts, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next report.